will know it hurts so. Learn quickly, they'll come for your blow. Games to play, can't take it from snow. Cause the devil is a liar. I'm telling you the truth, man. Hey, hey, it's all in what you do, man. So things you gotta do, hey, 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 hey. Hey, Barbershop Conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, we go live, baby, every night, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We got Brianna Taylor's team coming in on Wednesday. It's going to be a hell of a show with Black and Blue Wednesdays, man. We coming back strong, man. And don't forget to join the Patreon, man. And thank you, thank you very, very, very much. So we're going to call this a conspiracy theory. All right, we're going to. All right, this is just Frederick Hawthorne's conspiracy, being a conspiracy theorist that I am, right? Because nothing I ever say ever, ever comes true, right? So Jamel Herring, who I have the, uh, I've never only met the man one time, right? But I am in adulation of his story. I, uh, you know, similar to like, <clears throat> like pillars in boxing, he comes off as a great pillar in boxing. You know, and I uh, uh, love his story. Moved down, changed promoters, changed managers, whatever you want to call them. Came back, lost five pounds, and became a world champion. And now he is a force to be reckoned with. You know, and uh, I love the story. And uh, I, I know Bud don't like me. I don't want to be divisive. That that's not definitely what I want to do. But if you ever want to come on the show and do an interview, Jamel, you're always welcome. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> but. I think his fight was canceled on purpose. I think his fight was canceled on purpose, man. How do you test negative and then test positive and then test negative? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, one, it goes to show you that they can fix results in terms of COVID-19. Um, so no matter if you're taking a test, they can realistically change the test results in their favor in terms of their numbers, in terms of what they want. You know, it. Um, um, I, I don't believe ESPN and Top Rank wanted to put the fight on. I don't know how much money Jamel was making, but I, I would assume as a world champion, he was making more than average just based off of what the market holds now. And uh, I don't think they want to pay him. I'm just, it's just what I believe. You know, and when you got an out like this, you got an out like this. But but this speaks to the bigger issue is that these tests that y'all taking, be careful. All right. If you have no symptoms, you know, COVID is real. This ain't no conspiracy against COVID-19. COVID is real. Um, <clears throat> but um, be careful. If if you're not showing any symptoms, just quarantine as much as you can. If you have nothing to do in the outside world and you and you can stay home, uh, stay home. You know, play video games. You know what I mean. <laughs> Go on Instagram. Look at your favorite girl. You know what I mean. Do what you need to do to stay out of the way. You know, because there's a lot of reckless people out there who just don't care. And if you listen to me on on this platform, you obviously have some care. Because this is your expository time. This ain't something you need to watch. And uh, um, just be careful out there, okay? And uh, Jamel Herring, I, I don't know what to say to you. or um, Just keep your head up, man, because I know we all got to make a living. He's a man just like I am, you know? And uh, just hold your head up, and uh, hopefully we can get this fight underway. Uh, because, okay, here's why I think... <clears throat> Because Jamel Herring is a world champion, right? And they're bringing guys back on seven days notice, five days notice, whatever. These guys are coming back to back as opponents. You understand what I'm saying? What does that tell you? Ain't no money. <laughs> and, hey, you want to come back and fight $5,000 and be on ESPN? Who the hell going to turn that down? What fighter who's 7-2-1, seven, 7-2-1, two, and one, seven, two, and one, yeah, going to turn that opportunity down? What heavyweight who's 13 and three going to turn that down? You, you see what I'm saying? I'm only being honest. You know what I mean? And, and, and they are purposely adjusting these main events. You know, and uh, so just have some contingency plans in your contracts, okay? That if it gets canceled due to COVID-19, I'm giving you guys game. 
make sure there's a severance package for you. All right. Because, uh, because if you do everything right, because you obviously want your payday because you have to sustain your lifestyle, but it has to be a severance package. It has to be if the fighter on the opposite side catches COVID-19, what is in it for me? You know, I, I went in camp, I did my job, but anyways, man, um, I can take this shit deeper down a rabbit hole, but I'm just giving you guys a quick synopsis. Uh, Jamel Herring, uh, I say this respectfully. I don't want to, um, I know your team don't want to holler at me, Bud and, uh, Bo Mac, but, uh, I, I have utmost respect for your story. Um, um, uh, you're, you're, you're an asset to boxing, you know, in terms of perseverance and, uh, uh, just, you know, how, I, I hate to say this old cliche, but doing things the right way. I'm not saying it was the right way or the wrong way, but just being a, being a man and a gentleman above all the fray, no matter what has happened in your career. And I've known you since 2012, you understand, since you were in the Olympics. And I remember seeing all those videos of y'all playing around uh, in, the, uh, in the Olympics gates. I think that was the Michael Hunter team, Earl Spence team. And, Jojo Diaz, if, am I right or wrong? I think I'm right. I think I'm right. And the guy from New York, that's it. The guy from New York. I thought he was going to be the best one out the bunch. I'll be honest. Uh, the light heavyweight. What the hell is his name? Damn, y'all know who I'm talking about. I thought he was going to be the best one out the bunch. I had predicted him to be the best one out the bunch. <laughs> you know, but anyways, man. Uh, barbershop conversations, man. Oh, I thought he was going to be one of the better ones. I think that's that class. It all blends in, you know, because they always be champions eight, ten years later. And you fucking forget. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.